I want to share more with you this year. And so I'm just hopping on. Uh, I just took a shower, no makeup. This is me at 65 years old, what I look like, who I am. Uh, raw, tra transparent, authentic, authentically me. So I wanted to share a few things since I did just turn 65. And one of the thoughts that came to me on that day was how I really want to be conscious of slowing down and appreciating simple pleasures. And so a simple pleasure on Sunday was while on a meeting, a group call, a hawk flew in to the yard and I stopped the meeting and jumped up to really look at it. It was a Cooper's hawk. I had never seen a Cooper's hawk in this particular part of in this neighborhood that I'm staying in in Seattle and so I wanted to take a, a photo and just look at the magnificence of this hawk. Slowing down was sitting with a cup of coffee this morning and looking out the large picture window with curiosity about what the sunrise would look like. You know as the I began to see the clouds and they began to turn pink and then kind of a, a creamy yellow um, and then finally into this sky filled with white billowing clouds and little spots of blue showing there just appreciating the trees the sun being alive yeah, being alive. A simple pleasure is looking out the window at the squirrel who has managed to uh, overcome the squirrel proofing that's out there to reach the bird feeder. And then noticing that this squirrel, after eating was just doing gymnastics on the bird feeder it was like awesome you know just a simple pleasure simple pleasure so in addition to slowing down and simple pleasures there's a lot going on this year um, i'm closing the business structure of the nonprofit heal my voice that i've been holding for 11 years um so that I can turn my attention more to a simpler business paperwork structure and and a system and continue to offer the work that I've been doing and also to expand it. I'm taking a positive intelligence class right now that I hope to do some teaching around that. Uh, I'm in a book writing a simple writing course right now because I believe in beginner's mind and as much as I have been a writer for years it it's just good to go back and hear someone talk about the basics of writing I'm also in an integrative somatic trauma therapy certification program because I wanted to it's nine o'clock integrate more of those tools into uh, my work and, and, and my personal practices, but also to be able to offer that to clients where you could feel that the thing that's blocking them is something that happened in the past. And so on that same note, I'm also in an ancestral lineage healing practitioner program. And once again, doing my own work, I've begun to see how these patterns from our ancestors that need repair uh, are also affecting us in the day-to-day, -day, are affecting different generations. So those are things in between FaceTiming with my adult daughters and my eight-year-old granddaughter. Uh, I've been living house-free for seven years, so I'm, uh, you know, doing different house sitting, pet sitting, staying with friends and family, traveling. 2022 will also um, 
be a year where I offer a retreat for women in the fall of 2022. And then um, I have a desire to learn some languages. So I'm thinking that since the retreats in Italy, that Italian is what to focus on right now. And I also have a desire to learn how to play a ukulele. And I was thinking, you know, a ukulele is small enough that I can travel with it easily. So, <laughs> and then I have Zoom calls with clients and the incubator with a, a group of women who are uh, working on some creativity projects with their business and their, their writer selves, their artist selves. It'll be fun to see what we all play with and create in this time. So that's what it is to be 65. And I'll leave you with something that when I slow down and I take those moments to watch the hawk, watch the squirrel, uh, sip on a cup of coffee, watching the sunrise, I'm also tuning in to my passions and desires. And that's how I want to live my life. So much love to you all. And I hope to come back more often and share some insights with you. Thanks for listening. Mwah.